How you guys look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 preview and today guys we're going to be doing the 85 rated base icon Gennaro Gattuso. So we continue with our FIFA 20 icon previews. Uh, yesterday I did review Franco Baresi and now today we're going to be having a look at this Gennaro Gattuso card. I was able to pick him up for 380,000 coins in the four games that I played him if he scored me two goals and got me one assist. He's also got a free star big thoughts as well as two star skill moves. Moving along into his game stance, his main standout stats are going to be his 92 defensive awareness, his 93 stand tackle as as well as his 94 reactions and finally his 94 interceptions and it did also have the maestro chemistry style applied to this Gattuso card. Also guys thank you to BYN Gaming, a quick shout out to him for making today's thumbnail. It might not be up by the time this video is uploaded but it'll be up like the, the new thumbnail will be up within 24 hours or something like that so I'll leave a link to his uh, Twitter account in the description. So there might also be a review on Paladay Bala later on today or maybe even another icon review I haven't decided yet but um, yeah I thought we'd take a look at Gennaro Gattuso uh, this card is not going to be available in the icon swaps that we're going to be getting next Friday. Um, I don't know, maybe I should try and pick up an icon that's going to be in the icon swaps potentially for this week. Although, I, I don't know, I'm kind of scared to pick up any one of those cards because I don't know when their value on the market could potentially just plummet in price because... We're going to be able to earn them for free from next Friday. Obviously, the chances are going to be very difficult to complete, but we're going to be able to earn them for free, which is really, really cool. So, um, that's pretty exciting. But anyway, guys, let's focus on this Katuso card. I genuinely think he's got a fantastic card. Like, you, you look at this, and, well, maybe Fantastic's maybe a little bit too kind to him. But, you know, you look at the stats, you think... You know, he's, he looks great as either a centre mid, where I used him as, or as a CDM. Yes, he's a little bit short in height, but apart from that, you know, he's got great strength stats, amazing defending, pretty decent dribbling and passing stats, and even some of his shooting stats aren't the worst in the world, and also his pace in the mid-70s isn't too bad either. And I have to say, I liked him. I was a big fan of this card. First of all, to get three goal contributions in four games, that's a good return. He scored two goals for me, which are pretty awesome. Uh, one assist as well. Arguably, he was unlucky not to get more than one assist uh, as well in those four games because he provided quite a few uh, passes and, uh, and through balls as well to my attack. But um, no, I really liked him. And, and his first pro for me is going to be his tackling. I think his defensive stats are genuinely amazing. 94 interceptions, uh, 92 defensive awareness. His stand tackles at 93. His slide tackle at 91 as well. Brilliant tackling stats. I, I, and it was noticeable in game as well. Lots of times helping out the defense. Um, I'm still playing bad FIFA today, which is a massive shame. Uh, yesterday I was playing horrendous. And today I seem to be playing a bit better, but not too much. But again, um, Gattuso really helped me out and bailed me out on a few occasions, to be fair. So um, it's crazy as well. Like, some of his defending stats are genuinely better than, than some of the defensive icons you can get in the game right now, which is unbelievable. But um, yeah, you'll see in game, lots of tackles were made. Mainly stand tackles, not so much slide tackles, but... Um, even his interceptions as well at 94 were pretty noticeable as well. So overall tackling wise, couldn't fault him. Fantastic for that. His second pro as well be his passing one assist in the four games. Um, his long passing, his short passing, his through balls, they're all very, very good. You know, 87 short passing, 84 long passing. He's also got the 80 vision as well. That Maestro Chemist style puts his short passing up to 97. It takes his long passing up to 89 and even his vision goes up to 85 as well, which is pretty nice. So um, passing again. Yeah, he picked me up one assist. Not too bad from a central midfielder and as I mentioned before was unlucky not to get me more than than uh, than one assist in those four games um but yeah on the whole tackling and passing I thought was fantastic strength wise didn't really get to use that too much if I'm totally honest I was mainly making tackles I'm struggling to be able to to use strength uh, in this game I can't really seem to use it despite me holding the LT button a lot of the time I can't seem to defend players off the ball I can't bully players off the ball other people can do it to me but I can't seem to do it to them which is um, something I need to try and get my head around and try and uh, be able to do uh, pace wise I thought he was pretty decent as well um, shooting he's got not the best finishing stats, but to be fair, he scored me a couple of good goals, to be fair, as well in one match. Uh, although I wouldn't put his finishing down as a pro overall. But um, no, I thought he was really good. There weren't any parts from that I thought were that bad. Yes, I may be likely to be a little bit taller, but, you know, it's not the end of the world as high as I don't find it to be that bad, in my personal opinion. I think overall he works very well as either a CDM or a central midfielder. I think he can play as a box to box player to an extent. Yes, okay, he doesn't quite have the shooting stats, but apart from that, I think he suits playing very well as a central midfielder or a the CDM. I think he's a very, very good card. And um, obviously, he's not available in foot subs, which means you don't have to worry about him decreasing too much in value, um, which is which I personally think is pretty good. But uh, on the whole, I really liked him. And I think um, if you think you're getting good too, so don't get the 87, get the 85 because he's just got a better card and he's like pretty much the same price as the um, as the 87 good too. So, but anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.